Hello everybody! In this first tutorial in English, I would like to show you how to establish Arduino and Python communication and save data in a text file that you can use it after, for example, in Excel. Uh, first of all, I would like to apologize if my English is not perfect uh, because English is not my mother tongue. So sorry if I make some English mistake, but I hope you will understand everything. To begin with, you need an electronic circuit with sensors of your choice, so we can read some values on the serial monitor of Arduino. To get easily a lot of different values, I choose to use two potentiometers, respectively connected to A1 and A2 analogic input. So when I, when I will turn the button, the two potentiometers will return a value between 0 and 1023, and we will see how to import these values on Python to create the text file. Of course, you can replace these potentiometers by any, by any sensor of your choice. Here you have an example of a very simple code that allows you to read the values from the two potentiometers. Nothing special in this code. We declare two integers variables, POT1 and POT2. We initialize the serial monitor at 9,600 volts. We read the values from 0 to 1,023 and save these values in the two variables, POT1 on POT2. Between two measurements, we leave a delay of two seconds. And that's all for the code. So now let's try this Arduino code in the serial monitor. Please check first on note which is the communication port that uh, you are using because we will need this information uh, when we start to code in Python. So we open the serial monitor and we can see two columns for potentiometer one and potentiometer two. So if I turn the button from potentiometer one, like this, we can see that the values are decreasing. And if I turn the bottom from the potentiometer 2, we can see that the values are increasing. So the code works. We can go now to Python and try to code this. So first of all, you need to install the PySerial module that allows the communication between Arduino and your computer. For that, you go to your DOS command and then you choose uh, Anaconda or you go where your uh, Python program is uh, located and you write pip, PIP, install by serial, like this, okay? So as far as I'm concerned, by serial module is already installed in my computer. Okay, so now the first thing we are going to do is to import the module. So we are going to write import and you write serial. Be careful to do not write by serial, okay? You write only serial. The next step is to establish the communication between Arduino and the computer. For that, we are going to write, for example, uh, serial port equal, and we are going to use the serial module. So we write serial dot, and in the serial module, we are going to use the serial function. Be careful to write the second word serial with a capital S. And in this, in this function, we are going to use three parameters, three arguments. The first one is the uh, communication port number. 
So in my case, we saw before that it was COM6. Then we need the um, baud rate, that means the speed of the communication. So in my case, it's now 9,600 uh, bots. And the time I, timeout sorry, is 2 seconds. Then we are going to try to see the values coming from Arduino in the terminal here on the right of the of the screen. So we are going to check, for example, 10 or 12 values. So we are going to write for i in range 1 to 12 or 13, for example, as you as you want. Okay, and we are going to read the data coming from Arduino. So we can write, for example, Arduino data equal. And to read the data, we are going to write serial port. Okay, the data coming from the serial port point dot read line like this. Okay, and then we are going to print this data. So print Arduino data. Okay, so we are going to check if it if it works. Okay, so I test on the program. And we can see the data in the screen. If I turn the buttons of the potentiometers, okay, we can see that the values are also changing. Okay, so it works. As you can notice, there is a little garbage data, okay, uh, between the values. There is a letter B here, there is a letter R, a letter N. So um, these uh, letters uh, tells me that the Arduino data uh, coming to the laptop, to, to the computer, are bytes, bytes information, okay? So the B means the begin. Uh, when the Arduino starts to send information, R means that Arduino stops to send information, and N means the line return. Okay, so we are going to remove this uh, little garbage data. So it's very easy to do. Just you come to your code here, and after read line, you add decode ASCII like this okay so we can try again the code and now you can see that we have all the values okay so i turn the bottom but now there is no garbage data inside the um, in, inside the values okay so now that our data is clean we can start to create the text file. So to begin with, we are, I will return to my desktop and I am going to create a new folder. So folder, I'm going to give a name, for example, Arduino data folder. And in this folder, I'm going to save uh, our um, Python code that you can see here. So, okay, save, 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 save. And Arduino data folder. And I'm going to give a name. So I'm going to say uh, Arduino Python code, for example. Okay, so why I am doing this? Because the uh, text file that we are going to, to create now is going to be saved uh, in the same folder as you have your Python code program, okay? So now we are going to create this text file. So I am going to call him text file, text file equals to and we are going to create, so we are going to use the instruction open. 
we have to give a name to this uh, text file. So we can say, for example, Arduino data. Arduino data. Don't forget to write the extension. So txt. Okay, and we are going to write some data. So we have to write here w. Okay. So now the next step is to save the data in this uh, file. Okay. So we are going to write text file dot write Arduino data. Okay. And then there is nothing more to do just to close the file. So text file dot close and it's finished. Okay. So uh, let's try again our code. Start. So here you can see the values. I turn a bit the bottom of the potentiometers so we can have different values. Okay, like this, okay. And it's finished. So now we are going to check if this data are really in a text file. So I return to my desktop. Here there is the folder Arduino not data folder. And now you can see that inside this folder, we have two, two files, okay? And one, one, one of these, is the Arduino data. I open it and you can see this is the data that has been uh, recorded, saved in the text file. So everything looks okay. So now the last thing we can do is to try to export all this data to an Excel file. So you open Excel, you go to data, then you go to uh, get data, from and you choose from text file here and you go uh, where your uh, where our um, text file is located so here import and here we have the data as uh, you can see there is only one column where we have the uh, two values coming from the two potentiometers what i would like to do is to separate the values in two different columns. And that's why here we got a symbol, okay, that comes from the Arduino that I put in the Arduino code. I don't know exactly the name in English. It's a point at the top and a comma at the, at the bottom, okay? And this symbol will allow me to uh, separate the values into two different columns. So for that, you click on uh, transform data Okay, then you click on uh, this, uh, this square, okay? Uh, it says in French to cut the column in different parts. So I click here. You choose delimiter, the first one. And the uh, delimiter will be uh, this symbol that I told you. So the point at the top and uh, comma at the bottom that we called uh, point virgule in French. So I choose this one, I say, okay. And now we have two columns, okay. And in each columns, we have the data coming from one potentiometer only, okay. So now I close and here we have the data in two different columns in Excel that you can use for making graph or whatever you want. This is the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it and learned a lot of things. Do not hesitate to leave a like uh, or subscribe to my channel because make videos in English is really difficult for me. Your comments will be appreciated too. So thanks for watching and see you soon again.